Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to get up and going using the HTML5 invoices. And as you can see, the new look and feel is much better than the old PDF invoices. And for those people just starting to use Studio Cloud, it will automatically default to this. If you're a current customer, you'll need to do a few manual changes in order to start using the new invoices. And I will quickly show you how to do that here. So in the Studio Cloud program, you will go under point of sale and then under settings and you will see manage HTML5 invoices. So click there. And from here, it'll have all your templates, which if you haven't created any, it will be empty, but you can go down to new invoice. It'll bring this up and you'll put the invoice template name. So for example, if I'm a photographer and say I have a basic portrait invoice that I use, I can put default portrait invoice and I can put a description. Make sure you check this box if you want this to be the main default for printing or emailing invoices, but then you'll be able to choose any other ones if you have different information for different types of invoices that you use. And from here, you can click customize fields and it's going to default and give you the basic data already set up that most people put in a general invoice. You can edit any of this by scrolling down. It's going to automatically populate it for you so you don't have to start from scratch. But go ahead and edit if you want the wording to be different or you want different things to show on the invoice, you can change that. And then once you kind of make the changes, do what you want here, click on logo. And from here, you can add your business logo. You can have different ones for different invoice templates. So once I have that, go under details and signature. And from here, you can customize each template with different information or terms of agreement, refund policies, whatever you like to include on your invoice. And that can be different for each template that you have. And you can also click on theme. And with theme, if you accept online payments, you can choose the color of the button that you will be using, or you can choose any selection of color from here. You can save that. And also, um, very soon, they're going to be adding in different look and feel themes that you will be able to choose from to fit your personal branding for the invoices. So keep an eye out for that. And also, any time that you are creating an invoice template and you want to kind of see what it's going to look like, if you want to change anything, just click down here, preview template with sample invoice, and that'll give you a good idea of what it's going to look like. So the last thing you will need to do is turn on the setting to make the HTML invoice templates the default when you're printing. And to do this, go under your general Studio Cloud settings, click on manage Studio Cloud settings, click on print using HTML invoice template, and hit save. And that will make sure that it's going to default to these templates for when you're printing. So from here, you'll be ready to start using your HTML invoices. And as always, feel free to reach out to support if you have specific questions or you need help getting things set up.